Welcome back guys! In today's video we will take a look at how you add balance leads to a 3S battery pack. But before we go into the practical parts we need to do it in a theoretical way first. So basically you would need to start with a system that consists of three batteries in series and we will draw it like this and hopefully you will get that this is the positive side but just to make sure that we are correct here we draw it in and then we hook them up like that and this will be the negative and this will be the positive and between here we have 3S or 3.7 volt times 3 that would equal to 11.1 volt what is it that we're going to do when we are hooking it up to a balance lead? First of all, you need to understand what a balance lead in question is. I'm going to use this type here. And you see this type of contact and I will add a link to it, uh, hopefully up here in this corner, to where you actually find this type of contact. And as you can see, this one has four wires. The unit that I will be testing with is this balance or capacity controller tester and this one can do everything from 1S up to 7S and this LED will of course fit in here as well like that. The balance lead in question is a lead that are common for most of the balance chargers out there including like for instance my iCharger or the BMAX B6 or any of the other ones that you find as well. This is a typical uh, balance contact. We have four leads here. So how do we hook this up? And this is where it becomes important. You want to be able to measure every cell on their own. So if we have our balance lead in the bottom here, we need to tie them down like this. The first one is the negative here, the zero one. And then we have the first cell and we have the second cell. And we have the last cell over here. And that is four wires. But then you may ask which one is which on this one here. Should we turn it that way? Or do we turn it this way? So let's take a look at the balance board for, from a charger. Here we have a balance board from my charger. And on this one you will notice that you have these indents in the contact itself where you put it in like that and if we look up here I'm not sure if you can see it there is a minus on that side and a positive on that side that means that the minus or the negative part starts on this side and goes upwards so basically the first cell, second cell, third cell, fourth cell and fifth cell and so on if we turn this this way, this board should be oriented in this way and that means the contact should be the same and the notches here should be like that. So basically this lead here goes up there, that's the second one, that's the third cell and that's the topmost cell. I will be posting a diagram and some more images on my website about how to orient this. When we have the theory behind it, let's go ahead and put this in practice. So I have prepared this. As you can see, three cells in series. And they are soldered together. Minus here, positive, minus, positive, minus, positive. So we have the same scenario as we had on the actual paper. So let's go ahead and just prepare these a little bit quick so we can solder them. So if you remember correctly now this page here or the gray one in my case is the topmost minus one. So let's prepare those as well and we will solder them on and test it out. And before we start with actually mounting the cable we need to cross check the voltages of the battery. So this is the negative end so we start from this end here and we'll see that the first cell is roughly 3.6, second one 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9
and the last one will measure around 4 volts. So if we start from the end here and measure upwards we will see that the voltage will increase in every step and that will actually show us that we have put the cells in series in the correct way. As you can see here we go from 3 to 11.6 volt and that is what will show us that we are doing it in the correct way here. We start with a negative one and we solder this one onto here and the next one is the dark blue one and that one will go onto this one and then we have the I don't know the purple one or whatever color it is and the last one the white one should go in this end here So now we take our meter here and we still know that this meter in question does not have the notches and that could create a little bit of an issue. But at the same time you know or you have this marking here that says that's the first cell between minus and one. And we still know that the grey one is the first one so let's turn this the other way around so we get it that you can see it. And we stick it in like that and you will see that this meter starts up. So basically we have 11.62 volts in total. If we take the paper here again. Uh, we did calculate before that we should have a around 11.1 .1 if we have nominal voltage of 3.7. So let's step through. The first cell is 3.6. The second one is 3.97, the third one is 4 volt. This is how you arrange and add up a balance lead to your battery pack. Um, it's just a matter of actually identify the first one or the bottom one, the second one, third one, fourth one and so forth. And this can be arranged and applied to any type of cells that you have around. So it doesn't matter if you actually are going to use it on a 4 cell setup and having five cables like this one here or if you go even bigger and if you go even bigger and go for 7s and in 7s you would have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 wires and in this case you will see that this one is actually marked with a red one on the left side and if we remember correctly once again the left side would be the topmost positive and that's marked with a red. So that's actually really really good. So basically guys, I hope you like this video. If you need the images on how this is made, please don't forget to check out my webpage. I have added a small couple of images there on how to connect this all up, including the image of the contact so you will be able to see it in more detail. Thank you guys for watching this today's video and I hope to see you again and if you haven't subscribed don't forget to check the link below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for today and I see you next time. Bye!